Hello everybody, so let's say you're trying to import a library into Eclipse, um, an Android library into Eclipse, um, and it's not formatted for Eclipse, it's formatted in that their Gradle format, um, which is uh, from Android Studio, um, because I haven't gotten away from Eclipse, I tend to like Eclipse over Android Studio, it's kind of just... I've, I've been used to it, it's what I've always used, and so I don't see any point in changing. Um, so here you can see we have this library, um, Android Crop Image, so I'm going to download it and show you how we can import this into Eclipse and use it just like a normal library. So once it's downloaded, you can go to your downloads folder and extract it. and if we look inside of the extracted folder you can see crop image is the actual library and if you look at it it's not formatted like a normal Android project but once we go into Eclipse and do file import existing Android code browse and we go into downloads um, and then go into the library and choose OK and then copy project into workspace. Um, this way, um, it will be it will be copied into our location, um, and it will. Once we import this, it actually reformat reformats it a bit. If we look into my workspace. you can see that it is right here as main. Uh, the first thing we can do is right click on it and choose refractor and then rename and you can rename it to whatever you want so it's not just called main. Um, I'll call it uh, image crop and now if we look into this it's not the normal format you see it has these folders down here and it's not like most people are used to so the easiest way to do um, fix that is go into the the library and this is pretty simple um, the first thing is whenever we imported it it reformatted it a bit um, but not all the way so if we go into Java, the Java folder, we can just copy starting at com and go into the the res directory or go into the source directory I meant and paste it in there. And then we can just delete the Java folder and then go into the project um, you can either choose F5 or just right click to refresh and here you can see that it is like set up like a normal um, normal Android project or library the next thing you need to do is right click and go into properties and Android set this to the version that you want um, usually the latest I'll just use 5.1.1 and then if it's a library you're gonna wanna check is library and as once you do that you can choose apply and OK and this image crop um, project should be doing fine now there may be some errors um, that are simple to fix sometimes uh, maybe a version error or something like that. Um, they're usually pretty simple to fix. And once you have that, if you want to put that library um, into your project, use it in your project, go into your project um, folder and right click and go into properties. And then from Android location, choose add and then the library such as image crop and then go into Java build path and we want to go into projects choose add 
and select image crop. Then next go into order and export, select image crop, and then we can choose OK. And now it is updating um, updating the library and it says invalid okay that's that's not related to the library okay and then we can go into source and if we go I can show you an example or just show you that it is imported into the project um, we can see this is this is called image crop it's with and it, one of the classes is called crop image so for example let's try to use that class and I'm just pressing uh, control space and here you can see com.android.camera crop image that is coming from the library and this library right here since it's com.android and you can see we can use uh, rotate bitmap and that is coming from the project as well so thank you all for watching hopefully this helps you if you're sort of new uh, to using Eclipse or just using new to using libraries thank you all for watching please subscribe if you like these types of videos